So the last segment, we're going to be talking about how to do this airplane it's flying over with the bombs going off, which is using similar techniques. So I loaded up this sample scene, and I'm just going to go through it very quickly to say what's going on. Uh, it's included uh, that you can download so you can spend more time looking at it. Uh, but basically, I have some geometry in here. I have a sphere that I created. Bring it out of box mode just so you can see it. So I have the sky that's uh, got a sky map set to it. I'm just switching it back into box mode so that I don't have to actually look at it and I can see the geometry that's in it. Um, I have a ground mesh that's very thick um, and it's basically it was a plane that I added noise to and then a turbo smooth with a couple of iterations to make it smoother. Uh, I've also created a very simple uh, dummy version of the plane that is just a, a you know almost no geometry and no noise or anything else that I'm going to use to be able to more quickly uh, do my simulations and I'll talk about that in one second. I have a uh, very simple airplane that I modeled in probably two minutes. I have a, a little bomb and I have a plane that I use to map the explosion on. And then we have just some of the normal things we have. So we have our gravity. Uh, we have our drag. There's also above this whole thing is a, a, a wind force that's that's pushing it down. And I also have the U-deflector. Um, now, right now, the U-deflector is pointed to this ground dummy, which is the very simple geometry. And as I slide through this slider, you see that this moves very quickly. Um, if I had this pointed to the thick geometry, uh, it would actually completely slow everything down. So it's good to create like a, a very simplified version of certain things if you find that they're affecting your performance. And definitely collision detections against really uh, dense geometry is going to slow your performance down. So you almost always want to have a little proxy object that'll let you go through, test it, make sure that everything's all right. And then when you're done, you switch it over at the last minute before you render and uh, everything's okay and it still renders pretty quickly. It's just that it has to do a lot of calculating to uh, come up with the, the collisions to begin with. And So let's go ahead and look at the particle flow system and I'm just going to go through each of these things to say what they're doing. So the very first event is the Create Planes event. Uh, which has a birth that goes from 0 to 60. I'm using the rate, and the rate is animated, so it starts off with 5, and it gets up to 160. Uh, I did that because I wanted to have it start with having just a, a couple planes fly over, and then a bunch of planes. So I have the position... I have it that I'm keeping it apart. I speed, uh, which is set really high. One of the things that's kind of uh, a little bit messed up with this particular scene is the scale is really big. So a lot of the things um, needed to be cranked up really high in order for it to work, like the wind and gravity and everything else, which could have been avoided if I would have made my plane more of what the real size should be and the ground more of what the real size is. Uh, I have a slight uh, rotation set to zero. I have a spin uh, so that the planes, as they fly over, spin a little bit instead of just being static. Uh, the shape instance, which is pointed to the one plane. And then I have an age test that's uh, basically at 15 frames for the particle. It will, uh, with a variation of 15, will trigger the next event, which is actually to go ahead and start dropping a bomb. So when that occurs, it goes into this spawn object, and it's just a for each one plane, it'll do one offspring. And if I didn't want all the planes to be dropping bombs, I could change this number and make it, you know, 50% or something like that, and, and also give it a variation. I Once it spawns, it goes into this next event, which is the bomb itself, which is the, the bomb object, which is just a cylinder. 
I have the forces to the gravity, the drag, and the wind. I have a, a very simple spin on that, and now I have the collision. So basically, it'll drop the bomb, and as you can see, it's probably fairly hard to see these little bombs dropping. And when they hit the ground, it creates this last event, which is a dynamic uh, texture, which is animated and, you know, with the time turned on and everything else like we explained previously. Uh, I've added the shape facing, which what it does is it allows you to put in that you want it to pick a camera and then it'll actually turn the geometry so it's facing towards the camera. Uh, and this is nice. Uh, so that it, it, it actually looks more three-dimensional. You don't end up with a half-turned explosion that makes it look like it's a billboard. The shape instance is the explosion uh, plane. And uh, I have this, the speed set to zero. And that's basically it. The other thing I just wanted to kind of note in here is the explosion itself is using uh, this MR card opacity. So basically, this is a mental ray uh, material with the uh, surface being plugged in with this MR card opacity. And what this does is, and I'll put a link so that you can find it, is this is actually one you have to unlock that's out there. But it renders this type of uh, transparency things much, much faster. And it also does a lot less of the overhead than if you just created a normal diffuse opacity piece like we were looking at earlier. And this is a special mental ray, uh, you know, way of doing this, but it does make a significant performance difference. And it also cuts down on the overhead that th it has to do, which can run into uh, other problems when you have a lot of overlapping transparency objects. Uh, so this is worth checking out, especially if you're doing this kind of thing, because it, it definitely can sp speed up things and it also avoids certain types of problems and it's more composite friendly. So let's go ahead and just look at this animation.